This week on 3D Printed Soup, don't be controlling Retro Pi with one of these things. Make yourself a 3D printed arcade stick using a circuit board, some wires, some buttons, and some 3D printed goodness. That's right after this. Hello fellow makers and welcome back to 3D Printed Soup. This week, I dug out my old Raspberry Pi. It's been sitting in the cupboard gathering dust and I thought, you know what? Let's use it to play some classic retro arcade games. So I downloaded Retro Pi, copied it on there, and I've been playing a few games. But I have been playing them with this. It's an ancient old Xbox 360 wide USB controller. Now you know what, surely there's a better way. So I had a look on Thingiverse and a few other sites and I found a guy who has designed a 3D printed arcade stick. All you need is the 3D printed case and a couple of wires, a couple of buttons you can get fairly simply from Amazon. Links in the description below and you can make yourself a beautiful arcade ready arcade stick. So yes, I have printed I have soldered and I have created this thing and it works beautifully. So without further ado, let's get printing and make ourselves a Raspberry Pi arcade stick. Before we do, however, thanks to everyone who's liked to subscribe this month. There's loads of you. We're over 600. We're over 600. Next up, a thousand. Anywho, let's get printing. Let's get wiring and let's get ourselves some vintage arcade action with Retro Pi and an arcade stick on my Ender 3 3D printer. Let's give us a try. turned out nicely. I love this thing. It's bright, it's colourful, it is really hard wearing. As you can see on the screen behind me here, this thing works really really well. It lights up really brightly. I mean the camera is picking these up. The colours are really nice. I think it's probably blowing it out on the camera a bit but uh, yeah I'm very very happy with this. You got your six buttons on the top here. You got your stick with functions in all eight directions and you got your start and your credit buttons there so yeah it took a little while to build it now let me uh, do that it contains all the buttons and the joystick all wired into this little USB device all it does is you plug them in the bottom here no soldering required you plug them into the bottom here for the control stick. Then they all go into separate sockets on this little board through this fire wire 
into my Raspberry Pi and it picks it up like a regular control pad and this thing works beautifully. I had to make a few adjustments to the box as this was designed for a slightly smaller uh, arcade setup but those ones weren't available on Amazon when I tried to order so I had to go for a slightly bigger one. However, it works fine, just had to remove a few of the supports. And yeah, I couldn't be happier with this. It's absolutely brilliant. And it makes the arcade experience so much more fun. Being able to control Pac-Man with an actual joystick or be able to beat people on Double Dragon by basically hitting the actual big arcade buttons. I'm looking forward to playing some one-on-one -on -one fighters later on. And yeah, see how those work in here as well. But at the moment, can't recommend this file enough. You need to purchase the uh, buttons and you need to purchase the arcade board as well. But that costs me about £25 and I'm sure you can find it cheaper if you shopped around. And I think you'll find it's well worth the money. I mean, you got this broken thing. Or you got this thing all lit up beautifully. I think there really is no contest. Thank you very much for watching 3D Printed Soup. Thanks to the guys who designed this particular box. I altered it slightly. The design pretty much remains the same. Links in the description below as always. Stay happy, stay safe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep gaming.